Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this is part 2 of our AI object detective series in which we are going to get the images from the camera widget we implemented in our last video and send those images to the AI model so that it can detect the objects. So if you don't know how to set up all this, please watch my previous video so you can continue with this one. So let's start. Okay, so first of all, to get the images from the camera and pass them to the AI model, we need two packages. The packages we are going to use are the image package and the flutter TF light package. So we are going to use the TensorFlow light which will detect the objects. So these are the two packages we want to use. So I will just copy this thing and come to my VS code and same as we did in our last video, I will implement the I will get the packages using the VS code way. So I will say image and after that TF light and just press enter. So these two packages will be downloaded also. And now we need to wait for it. Okay, so the packages are downloaded and now we need to go to our controller and in the scan controller first of all we need to create some variables here let's create a new variable which will be a camera image and it will be camera image okay so let's also set it as late and we also want to create a new variable which is camera count which will be zero by default i will tell you why i created this variable so after that just like this thing we need to create a new method which will be able to detect the objects so object detector and it will be an async method so in here let's create a var detector is equal to and in here let's say wait tf light dot and in here we need to say run model on frame so here you can see it is requesting for the list of bytes so how can we get the list of bytes we will get the list from the camera image and let's name it as image okay so from this image we need to say planes and let's run a map on it and in here we need to return our e dot bytes and after that let's set it to list okay so this thing is done and why this is sending an issue okay so we need to set the terminator here okay so after that we need to pass some more properties so a cinch will be true and after that image height will be equal to image dot height and image width will be equal to image dot width the image we are passing to this method it will get the width from that and after that image means will be 127.5 and also the image standard will be 127.5 and after that number of results i want to get so let's say i want to get just one result and after that the rotation for android will be 90 and it will automatically adjust itself for the ios so the threshold i will be using 0 0.4 okay so just save this and after all this calculation i want to say if our detector is not equal to null then just let's say log and in here i will say result is and it will just print the result of our detectors what it has detected okay so the method is created and now we need to go to our camera controller and on initialization of this we want to say dot then and then we want to say um, let's say dot then we want to say camera controller dot start image stream and now we want to pass this image the one we get from the camera to our object detector and okay so it will pass everything to that method and after that we want to update our method so 
here you can see that I created this camera account so why we have created this so whenever we are going to run this application it will fetch the results at the base of 30 frames per second as you know that our device works on 30 60 and 90 frames so it will get the images at 30 frames per second and on low end devices it will cause processor heat up and also causes the lagging issue to so, so to fix this i will say if our camera count mod 10 is equal to 0 so what it will do it will get every third frame and then pass it to this object and let's cut this and paste it and let's also set the count camera count is equal to 0 again so before this we want to say camera count plus plus so it will just increment it okay so everything is done here and now we need to initialize the tensor flow so how to get the model so to which we can pass the images to get the model we first want to go to the location of our flutter so this is the location where i have installed my flutter and in here in the pub cache hosted and folder in here i need to say flutter tf light and inside of this folder you can see we are having an example and in here i have these assets so the package we are using flutter tf light contains pre-trained models and labels we can use for the demo or in our application so here you can see we have many so the one i will be using is the mobile net so this is the model the ai model which is tensorflow light model and this one is the label so i will just copy this and go to the location of my project which is let's say this one and in here i will create a new folder named assets and inside of this assets i will just copy and paste these two things so okay so in here let's paste it and here you can see in the assets we have these two so let me just quickly rename it so it will be model tf light and this one will be labels okay so models and labels inside of our assets folder and to access them we need to go to our pubspec.yml and register our location for them so in here we need to uncomment these assets and after that we need to say let's uncomment this also and simply cut this and say assets slash so the assets will be registered in our application and now we can use them so let's close this file and create another method which will be init tf light which will be an asynchronous method and in here we need to say await tf light dot load model and in here we need to pass the path of our model which is we know that assets slash model dot tf light and after that we need to pass the path of our labels which is assets slash labels dot txt you can confirm them here you can see labels and model and after that we need to pass some more properties which is is asset and it is true number of threads will be one and use gpu delegate will be false and just save it okay so the method is also created and now we need to go to our init state which is on init and after this camera we want to say init tf light and just save it and i guess we don't need this one let's remove it okay so here i did a mistake let's remove this and also these two things and go to this method okay so when we are starting the stream we need to say like this and after that just copy and paste it and in here we need to say if the 
camera count mod 10 is equal to 0 only then it can detect an object otherwise it will be this camera count is equal to 0 and in here it will be camera count plus plus and after all this we need to say update so now let's restart our application okay so here you can see that it is detecting the objects as you can see this is detecting the laptop and if i just make it a bit up here you can see it is detecting a laptop and what is this this is a computer keyboard and the space bar and what is this this is a mouse so it is successfully detecting the objects and in the next video we will show all these objects on the ui and also add a rectangle around it so user can see which object it is detecting right now so i hope you like this video if you did press that like button and share it with your friends see you in the next one till that love is